up guys welcome to an extremely overdue ask jenna i asked you guys on twitter and you left me a lot of great questions so we're just gonna hop right to it because i've got big plans today i'm going to do something really fun which you will see in tomorrow's video and i might break a leg or an arm or a bone because it's gonna be a really wild time with my friends but we gotta get to these questions first, so let's get right to it. The first question. Adam wants to know if you had the chance to compete in the Olympics, what event would you compete in? If napping were a sport in the Olympics, I would bring home that gold for the United States. Realistically, I don't have many talents. If I stuck with volleyball, maybe I could have been a professional Olympic volleyball athlete, but I'm a little short. I'm only like 5'5". Five five. Actually, I think I'm 5'6". I think I grew a little bit, which is strange. How are you helping to conserve water during our drought? Ask Jenna. Well, I've just stopped showering completely. Where's one place in the world you want to visit? I want to go to South Africa and I want to go to Australia. I really want to go. I also want to go to Yosemite and I want to go to Yellowstone National Park and the Grand Canyon. And I want to go to Oregon and I've got a long list. Did you listen to German music while being in Germany? If so, did you enjoy it? Yeah, Justine and I actually, we would listen to the top um, hits in whatever country we were in. And the one song, uh, what was it? It was like, I'm gonna absolutely butcher this. It's like, Te amo, Te amo. I don't know how it is because it's in German. I don't speak German, but uh, we did listen to I'm so sorry you had to listen to that, but we did listen to um, all the different top hits in different countries. Would you kill your dog to have a guaranteed successful life? Absolutely not. Oh, I couldn't even imagine killing anything. Like, but my baby, my baby boy, oh my God, no. Are you tired of Pokemon Go yet? Yes and no. I'm tired of the fact that I'm not getting any new Pokemon. I still play it. I still, when I go on walks, I have it open. I would feel guilty if I was walking and I wasn't hatching eggs. I like to walk with a purpose. I'm looking forward to more updates whenever they release any more Pokemon. I don't think they have yet. I definitely am not as obsessed as I was. Still level 23. That's a real B of a stretch, 24, if you get what I'm saying. Would you rather swim in a pool of noodles or in a pool of M&Ms? Oh, a pool of M&Ms, 100%. Hopefully the M&Ms would melt and we would just have a pool of chocolate. Oh, can you imagine? What's something you're looking forward to this upcoming fall season? Well, I love the fall because the summer is hot as hell and I've just been melting, which I know it's not that hot in LA, but, um, I'm a wimp. And there's gonna be a ton of new games coming out. I haven't been playing many games just because I've been busy-ish. And lots of new games coming out. Um, I get to see my family a lot in the fall and I have a wedding coming up. So I get to see my friends. Lots of fun things coming up. Probably some more travel, so that'll be fun. Who is your favorite character from Friends? Phoebe and Joey. I picked two because I can't pick one, but I love all the characters. Out of you and all your siblings, who is the most competitive as a child? I'm super competitive. Justine's moderately competitive. Brienne is the most competitive. She's crazy when it comes to any type of competition or any type of game. Like, she's nuts. How old were you when you first cussed? I don't know, actually. If I were to guess, I probably was like 10 or 11, but I, I, cannot remember, maybe younger, I don't know. I'm sure I probably said it and then like cried because I was like so upset, but probably like 10 or 11. What's one of your most funniest moments you've had recently? So it didn't happen to me, but we were all hanging out at Matt's place and Matt got up to do something and Justine was like, Matt, what is on your shorts? And he turned around and the back of his shorts was just covered in like brown, something and we me just seeing an ed we started absolutely cracking up dying i was laughing so hard that i physically could not breathe and we're like did you poop your pants and he's like no i swear i didn't poop my pants i didn't poop my pants and i was like show us your underwear and that didn't sound good but it you know what i'm saying so it was like go check your boxers is there poop on your boxers and he checks his boxers and there is brown stuff all over his boxers too and we're like you pooped yourself but turns out we went to get ice cream that day and i'm pretty sure there was like ice cream on the bench he didn't poop himself he would have owned up to it and the shorts were way more covered than his boxers so he didn't poop himself but i was laughing so hard like i couldn't breathe i was crying it was like that ugly an ugly cry laugh because i was i just i was like hyperventilating it was incredible that was the funniest moment 
it was great. You had to be there. On a scale of one to 10, how happy are you now? I would have to say an eight. Point seven. I'm pretty happy. Everything is going well. I've got some things in my personal life that are going to be happening and um, I'm just excited. The only downfall of my life right now is I'm so mad at myself for being so out of shape. So I'm very unhappy in that um, aspect of life, but I'm working on it. Do you have any phobias? Oh, do I? I don't like birds. When a, when a bird is near me or flying at me, I just I just tense up and I'm like, <gasps> I was walking at the beach the other day and a flock of birds was so close to flying over my head, like I felt my heart like skip a beat. I also don't like windmills. We were driving to uh, Palm Springs last weekend and there were thousands and thousands of windmills and I was just driving and I'm like, I might crash the car because I feel so uncomfortable right now. I, I feel like I'm in a horror movie. I don't know why. I don't know if anyone else has some type of weird, irrational fear of windmills or if it's just me, but they creep me out. Favorite Netflix show movie at the moment. I just finished watching Jane the Virgin. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, I also just started watching Between. I think that's what it's called. I think I'm on the second or third episode, which um, I'm into it. So it's a pretty good show as well. Black or white t-shirts? Black. Unless it's gonna be hot and I'm gonna be outside, then white. If you had to go back in high school or middle school, which one would you go back to and why? Ooh, probably high school. Middle school is just awkward. It's just an awkward time. Your body is awkward. Maybe this was now. I feel like kids in middle school now, I'm like, you look like you're 30. Like, I don't know what happened or what, like, what's going on. But when I was in middle school, it was just awkward. Everything was awkward. Do you like food? Oh, that's like asking if I like oxygen. Yes, I like food. What's your absolute favorite smell? Freshly baked chocolate chip cookies. Is there anything better? I'm gonna go with no. Or the smell of pizza. Oh God, food, I have a problem. Jenna, it's almost your birthday, how do you feel? Old, nothing really exciting happens at 27. Okay, last question, what cameras are you using? What cameras do you have? For the first time ever, I'm actually using the Sony A7 Mark II. So this is what I'm using right now. Usually I'll use the Canon 70D or 80D. For vlogging, I use the Canon G7X Mark II. I'll put all of those in the description. Um, you guys can check them out, but yeah, I'm curious to see how this turns out. I've shot on Matt and Justine's camera, which is a little bit different version of the Sony. So I'm curious to see how this one turns out in the video, but it's probably gonna look pretty dope. Did I just say dope? Oh, I hate it. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for all of your Ask Jenna questions, and I will see you again next time. Bye.